Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at numbers on the iPad and how you can use forms linked tables to enter data. So Numbers has this cool feature on the iPad that isn't even available on the Mac, and that's the ability to create forms. So you can create a spreadsheet and then fill in the data in the rows using forms, kind of like a database, rather than actually entering them in the grid of the spreadsheet. Let's take a closer look. So let's create a new spreadsheet and choose the blank template. Now Numbers knows that the top row is supposed to be the column headings. We're going to create a simple inventory demo. So we'll do item, price, and amount. And then we could go from there and simply enter in each of the bits of information just down here without having to create a form. But instead, let's try doing a form. So press plus and create new form. And then it'll ask us to choose one of the tables. Now we only have one table, it's called table one, so we'll select that. And instantly we can see that it picked out item, price, and amount from the top row and made it the different fields for the form. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and let's select the entire column there by clicking on the bar above the first row. And here we can change the type by tapping the I here and change it to text. We can select the second column, change that to currency. And the third column we will change to a number. So now we can enter in some data. We'll enter in just some fake data here. And when we're done entering this in, we can use these buttons at the bottom to add more. Just plus we'll go to the next one. We tap in the field here and we can enter in more data. And there we go. Now we can use the arrows to go back and forth between all the data. The trash can will delete a field. If we go to the sheet, we can see how they're linked because there's our data entered in. We didn't have to enter it in in the spreadsheet format. We were able to enter it in using the form here. Now, forms will even work to add rows to a table. So let's make this a proper numbers table by removing all of the rows and columns we're not using. And let's actually create a footer row here even. Add one footer row, so that's at the bottom. And it knows that this footer row is special as well. So we're going to create a formula in here and make that a sum. And it'll be the sum of this column. So now that we have a header row that's the headings for each column, and then we have a footer row that has a sum formula in it. Numbers are smart enough to know that the two middle rows are the actual data rows. When we return to the table, we can see these two rows are here, and we can add a third and type some data in it. And when we return to the spreadsheet, we can see that not only is it added the third row there, but it is also updated the sum in the amount column. So we can continue to add rows or remove rows using the form here rather than the spreadsheet. So I'll bet that the next version of iWork on the Mac also has this form functionality, which would be great. Probably even have some additional features. Hope you liked this look at the forms feature in Numbers. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.